So, today I've been thinking about something. Why don't I become the Batman of UBG? And I have decided that is a great idea. I'll be starting a series where I will bring to justice all amazing UBG concepts that never got to the light of day because no one actually fucking reads them. So basically, I'll be going around suggestions in the main server just so you know that these are publicly visible to everyone, including drowning, just so that no one can say that these concepts aren't public so they're not accessible. So in each video, I'll bring to light one or two concepts that I firmly believe would be amazing to be added to UBG. May that be related to game mechanics, maybe that that may be map related, it doesn't really matter, uh, every good concept counts. Numero uno, number one, evolving styles. Now, I've talked to Drowning a few times about this and I have seen a few actual suggestions on this, but I firmly believe that evolving styles should be a thing. Now, off the top of my head, I can think of like, reach a certain amount of knockdowns with a style or make materials drop from matches or you can use it to evolve styles. Basically, if you have like Epo and you want the new Epo stuff from the manga, we'll call Epo V2, which is just basically Pro Epo, you need like 1k knockdowns with Epo or win 100 ranked matches with Epo for a quest and then you can get the special version aka the evolution of the style you're using. Now, what should the evolution do? Probably change some mechanics, maybe, maybe leave it as is, but improvements, basically more damage, more posture, something like like that more range we'll see we'll see right it's an amazing concept and the offer is god i'm gonna butcher your name only we spoke spookany bro oh fuck first thing he wrote is finishing style all style titles of the style you want to evolve and after you get all the style titles you get the final quest to get the evolution and that would be quest to get like 500 knockdowns second option which is the one i agree with the most is the quest would be something like i break your opponent and then with him to 100 times ult your opponent 30 times perfect dodge 100 times get knocked down 200 times use special ability successfully 50 times the balance team can do whatever they want and the third option is drive he said he's adding a gym so he wrote train in the gym um that's about it now i honestly really really like the second option because it feels like how the anime characters have progress in the manga i can honestly really stand behind the second concept so i think it's the best option although i would make the requirements a little higher and make them require more effort otherwise it, everyone would just be walking around with a evolved version of the style but i ain't the balance team they can do their job and figure this one out. I think this is a really, really cool concept that could be utilized very easily. Instead, of, and instead of making reworks for styles that no one really uses, like shotgun, drowning, you could focus on making evolved versions of the style with the quests because that's really fun if you think about it. But before we move on to the next thing, uh, I would like to introduce you guys to Kinjo. What if I told you you can play your favorite Roblox games and earn Robux at the same time? now you actually can with kenjo kenjo is an amazing app that rates roblox games in a flame scale from zero to five based on the skills you learn while playing them skills like memory cognitive function decision making and much more the higher the flame rating is the more skills you will learn and the more kenjo coins you will earn earn enough kenjo coins you can redeem them for real life rewards like robux v bucks and mine coins you can also invite your friends and collaborate on missions to develop your skill tree even faster. When signing up, make sure to use my referral code KFLXDV to earn 300 Kinjo coins. Head over to the link in the description and begin the journey. Number 2, Permanent Quest Lines. Now this is a concept by Living Life 303 and it reads as follows. This is basically an excuse to give a free slot to people. Some people have been playing this game for new years and they still didn't get a free style slot at the end of it. So make a permanent quest line. That's the final reward for it as a style slot or something. Should mention that this isn't a battle pass. It does not reset every season or something. It's a one-time thing for beginners. Also, all the rewards are untradeable, so alts won't be able to just farm it for their needs. Other rewards in the thing should be coins, spins, lucky spins, slash crates, instant pity, and titles. I honestly really agree with this. I think UBG needs to add something for beginners, and I think this is an amazing deal, honestly. It's a nice way to get people invested in the game and get them introduced with the basic functions of the game. Now when the idea of a battle pass is brought up honestly i think a battle pass in this game would actually be pretty cool like it would be a great way for drowning to add unique emotes and gloves to the game which he really loves making already it's a reward for the people who are willing to put enough effort into the game and to actually obtain it so that way it's a win-win for everyone because if the newbies see the battle pass they're gonna be interested they're gonna want to get the stuff and the daily player base also wants something to work towards so it also interests them you know what i'm saying Alright, that about sums up this video for now. Uh, thank you all for watching and let me know how you feel about these in the comments down below. And, um, goodbye chat.